Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNA two minute video success tip for you today on a subject near and dear to my heart because guys like me are usually scaring newcomers about doing anything with a particular value that we're going to talk about and we're going to be on the live equipment here in about 20 seconds and we will hit it. One quick mention with my CCNA video boot camp, it's usually $97 which is a tremendous value. I try to price it or I do price it. Uh, so it's as affordable as possible, but right now 7 is definitely your lucky number because you can save $20 on your registration. My videos hang around for years. This price is not going to, so I would suggest you act today and check that out. Now, let's go ahead and bring up the live equipment, and I'll start our timer at the same time. And today we're going to talk about the configuration register because we left off here on the last video with this particular command and you do know what command gives this output, right? This is the first practice exam question I'm going to hit you with today. It's show version. And you get a lot of helpful information here, but usually you've got to hit the space bar to get it to go all the way down to configuration register because they kind of hide that at the bottom. And when I said earlier, guys like me scare you with this, you know, when you're told, when you're learning something and someone says, now don't change that or be really careful because you can kill the router if you set it to the wrong setting. Let's face it, we tend not to go back and practice that a whole lot, right? But we're going to configure something here with that in just a moment or actually change the value. Now you know how to find it with show version. But let's go back to the whiteboard for just a moment and I want to show you a couple of common settings. Now I should have put the word common here so I will do that while we're live. Because these are not the only three settings you can set the configuration register to. But there are three you should definitely know for the real world networking and of course for your CCNA exam. OX2102 is the default. What happens there is the router is looking for a startup config file in non-volatile RAM and a valid iOS image in Flash. If it's set to 2142, the non-volatile RAM contents are bypassed and the startup configuration is ignored. And 02100 is a good one to know. You, hopefully you don't use it terribly often, uh, but that is going to make the router boot into ROM monitor mode. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off for just one second because we're going to be a few seconds over. But what I want to show you is this. There aren't many commands out there in Cisco routing that require some kind of reload or something to be done besides just entering the command. Almost every command takes effect immediately. Almost every command, so you know what I'm leading up to here. Can you name another command that requires some kind of reload? Think about that while I look at our settings here. Now let's see, I'm going to set it to, I'll set it to 2142. The other command I was thinking about, or one of them is um, clear, I, excuse me, is changing the OSPF red. Because if you change the OSPF red, and I've got a couple of YouTube videos on that as well, you have to either clear the OSPF process in question, or you have to reload the router. So what is going to happen here when I hit enter? Because we don't get this very often, we already don't have any options. But what's going to happen? Is the router going to reload? Is it going to do anything? Nothing. And that can really throw you, especially the first time you do it in a lab or even in a production network. As you do this, it's like, well, okay, I thought things would start happening now. Well, you do actually have to reload for any of that stuff to start happening that we talked about. And also, you're going to see this at the bottom of the config. This is really easy to overlook among all this other information, but it's telling you right here, right now the register is still set to 2102. It will be 2142 at the next reload. So this is one of those rare commands that you have to reload the router in order for it to take effect and of course for whatever to have happen that you just programmed to have happen. So that is it for our config register review. Like I said, check out my YouTube channel for other videos on that subject. And thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.